This video discusses the difference between distance and displacement and the different ways that we'll calculate these. So to begin with, distance is the total path length. So for a curved path, we add up all of the sections. Displacement it is the length of a straight line from the beginning point to the end point. So whenever we have a distance, it's important to remember that it will always increase. Displacement, however, depending on how the object's moving, can increase, decrease, or even return to zero. So an object that returns back to its initial point would have zero displacement. Distance is a scalar, so it can be represented solely as a number and a unit. Whereas displacement's a vector, so to really express displacement, we have to include some way to tell the direction, either a plus or minus sign, or northeast, southwest. Now, if I have this as a starting point up above here, and I wanted to draw a line showing the distance, it could be any path that I'd imagine. And the total length of this path would be the value for the distance. However, the displacement would just be this blue arrow starting at the beginning point and ending at the end point. There's two ways that we have you calculate distance and displacement. The first way is a vector representation. So here we have vectors drawn in two different dimensions. And the first step is 8 meters north, then 6 meters to the east, 2 meters south, and then 5 meters east. To calculate the distance for it, it's pretty simple. We just add up all the different vectors. So we get 8 plus 6 plus 2 plus 5 gets me 21 meters. Pretty simple. To figure out the displacement, however, we got to know the length of the straight line from here to here. So first, it would be helpful to draw that in. OK, so we know it's going to end up being something northeast but we don't have two sides of a triangle here so we can't do Pythagorean theorem yet so what we're gonna do is we know this side here is gonna be six meters because it's gonna be eight minus two this top side here is gonna be six plus five or eleven meters so let me draw that in right now so I'm gonna find the hypotenuse of this purple triangle so to do that, I pull out Pythagorean's theorem. So 11 squared plus 6 squared gets me 12.5 meters in northeast. Since it's a vector, we got to tell which direction it's going. The other way that we're going to use a whole awful lot is position versus time graphs. So position versus time graphs are something that we're going to be doing from now until you go away and take another science class. So, before we start talking about this here, let's talk about what a position versus time graph is. This is a web simulation that shows a moving man and creates a position versus time graph for him below here. So, if I start it up, you'll see that, well, also we have the uh, coordinate system written up here. So, the tree side's negative, the house side's positive, and if we start this up, and uh, so if we start to move into the right here, you'll notice that we get a straight line going upward with a constant slope. Now, if we were to change how fast he's going, we'll see that that slope changes as well. So here, let's run it again. We'll see, yep, greater slope. Now, if we clear it and give them a negative velocity, now we'll see that he comes back from right to left. And then if we stop him and give him zero velocity, 
we get a horizontal line. So the side, the slope of the graph shows me how fast he's going. If it's zero slope, he stopped. If it's a negative slope, he's moving back towards the origin. So going back, when we look at this position versus time graph, we can find the total displacement pretty easily. All we really have to do is look at the beginning point, which is 5, the end point, which is 15, and that gets me a total displacement of 15 minus 5 is 10 meters. To find the total distance, it's a little bit harder. I gotta add up each change in this in position. So from 5 to 15 is 10, from 15 to 35 is 20, and then from 35 back to 15 is another 20. So my total distance is 10 plus 20 plus 20, or 50. Sometimes you'll be asked to find the displacement for, you know, the first couple seconds. So the displacement after 25 seconds, we would start at zero, and we would look at 25 seconds, which is right here. So that would be 25 minus 5. The displacement would be 20 meters. To find the distance there, from 5 to 15 is 10. And then from 15 to 25 is another 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20 meters for displacement. So I hope this helps out. If you have any questions, ask me about